have to make a shopping list. The kids are going to want snacks. Don't feed them, kitty. That's how it started the first time. It was kind of this amazing full circle moment. Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, Topher Grace, Laura Prepon, and Wilmer Valderrama. Welcome back to Chess Fest. <laughs> it's always an honor to have your hair in my chair. <laughs> are just some of the OG cast members of That 70s Show returning for the highly anticipated revival, That 90s Show. I think that anyone that's ever watched 70s that was a fan, I think would be very, 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 very happy with how they, the inciting incident of, this, of the whole series. It's a continuation of the beloved Fox sitcom, which followed a group of teenage friends and their coming of age in 1970s Wisconsin. Fez, I can't believe you finally lost your virginity. Wait, wait. This isn't like the time you bought a hamster, named it Virginity, and then lost it. <laughs> that 90s show picks up 20 years later with a whole new cast of rebel teens back in the foreman's basement. Hi, guys! Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandpa. Leia. Yep, Kitty and Red, aka Deborah Jo Rupp and Kurtwood Smith return too. This time, their grandma and grandpa's Eric and Donna's teen daughter, Leia, who's spending the summer of 1995 in Wisconsin. Okay, kids, the basement is all yours. And Leia makes friends with a group of misfits just like her. Your grandma just hooked us up. What is it? Leia, do you want to hear about the Donkey Kong conspiracy? You'll know the secret sauce is gonna be there. Now, when it comes to your favorite That 70s Show stars, they won't be completely lost in the sauce. Wilmer Valderrama's beloved character Fez is all grown up living a glamorous life as a hairstylist. At the end of the Netflix trailer, we get a glimpse of Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis' character, Jackie and Kelso, all grown up. Did it like freak your head a little bit when you said, okay, I'm going back to do I this and now I'm married it. to this man I and I have kids with this man. Let me tell you, first and foremost, my child, without giving too much away, in this show is way too old to be my child. So I was like, what, what are we, like teen parent, like, so, okay, I was like, whatever. So first of all, my kid's way too old. I want everybody to know, not possible. Um, it is, <laughs> It's very good. Yeah. It's great, in fact. It's been 16 years since that 70s show went off air, but we have a feeling that 90s show can recapture some of the magic of the OG, which ET had a front row seat to during the show's eight year run. Isn't it awesome? We're gonna spray paint our names on a trailer? All right. <laughs> I, uh, naively and stupidly thought, oh, sure, we'll be a big hit. And only now, looking back, do I realize when we started the odds of a show being uh, successful when you start as a pilot, you know. Uh, but I think that kind of blind optimism that we all had at the beginning it, um, fueled us to get to this point. E.C. was there as the show said goodbye, too, and Mila reflected on the journey. Okay, you have seen it. I started this when I was 14. I mean, I went through, like, puberty on the show. There's certain things I will never forget because it's documented. 